using filters in PubMed. PubMed is a health sciences database, so in addition to general filters common to most databases, it uses filters that are specific to health sciences resources. In this video, I'll show you how to access the filters in PubMed and where to locate some noteworthy filters in the list. The first step once you open PubMed is to perform a search, either here on the homepage or through the MeSH database. You will now see the basic filters on the left side of the page. Use article type to limit your search results to a particular type of article. You can check as many boxes as you like. Some options are available on the results page by default, such as systematic reviews, randomized control trials, and meta-analysis. You can also add options in additional filters, which we'll cover later in the video. There are two options for filtering by publication date. You can filter the results by year using the slider to select a range of years. You can also choose a time frame under publication date. This filter allows you to search for articles published in the past one year, five years, 10 years, or in a custom range. Check Full Text to limit your search results to articles for which you have access to the full text. This includes both articles from journals your library subscribes to and articles that anyone can access for free. Free Full Text, on the other hand, will limit your search results to just articles that can be accessed for free. Use this filter if you're not currently studying or working at an institution with journal subscriptions that you can access in PubMed. You can add more filter options by clicking Additional Filters. As you can see, this gives us a lot more filter options that we can add. As I mentioned earlier, there are many other article types that you can filter for. You can also add filters for the species covered, the language the article is in, the sex of the population covered, the journal that it's in, and the age of the population. Select any filters that you want to add and click Show. This will add those additional filters to the list on the left of the page. You'll notice that the filters I've added are not checked yet. This step will only add the filters as options. Now you have to select all the filters you want to use from the list of filters on the left. As you click the filters, your list of results will automatically change. You can see the number of results getting smaller as you add filters. If you've narrowed your search a bit too much and your list is too small, you can uncheck filters to remove them or for a category like resource type, you can add additional resource types. I hope this video helps you use search filters in PubMed. Thanks for watching.